Hello, I'm Ranch and Palos Verdes City Manager Arv Moranian with an update from the August 1st City Council meeting. For many years, it has been general desire by the City of Ranch and Palos Verdes to enhance the aesthetics along Western Avenue. Aesthetic improvements to the public right-of-way on Western Avenue adjacent areas would enhance the appeal of the city's only commercial corridor and surrounding area. It will bolster commerce, foster local business activity, and reflect positively on the entire city, particularly the adjacent neighborhoods. The overall Western Avenue beautification vision is being implemented in three phases, short, medium, and long terms. The beautification vision for Western Avenue is to create an attractive street environment that would be considered desirable for residents and businesses. The City Council received and filed an update on the beautification project, then directed staff to proceed with completing the final drawings, but to pursue cost partnerships with the City of Los Angeles and Caltrans. The City Council then considered an update from Southern California Edison on recurring power outages in the Grandview Estates neighborhood. One of the long-term solutions being discussed requires funding to replace transformers and other significant system upgrades. This will be considered for funding by SCE in the 2024 budget. That said, funding for remote automatic reclosures, also known as RARs, has been approved. These are protective devices that are designed to intelligently and safely isolate portions of the circuit to sectionalize and minimize the overall impacts of outages. The RARs are in the design phase and will move on to the planning stage and are targeted to be completed by the end of the calendar year. Lastly, the RPV City Council was asked to consider the possible action to fund reactivation of four city-owned dewatering wells within the jurisdiction of the Abalone Cove Landside Abatement District. The Council approved an additional appropriation of $520,000 to fund the project. And then the council directed staff to explore if the city can transfer financial responsibility of all city owned dewatering wells within Abalone Cove to the Abalone Cove Landside Abatement District. For more details on issues before the council, watch the August 1st City Council meeting on RPV TV or in the city's website at rpvca.gov. Let's stay connected and remember we are RPV together.